Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I, this is Sticky Mess 17 I am Yvonne and my channel is all about cleaning, information, inspiration and motivation and voucher codes too. Be sure to check out my website stickymess17.co.uk also down in the description box for any products recommendations that I have that I use in my home or want to share with you will be in the description box as well as on my stickymess17.co.uk. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, so Make sure your notification bell is turned on so that you're notified for all my videos that I upload on a Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. And with all that said, in today's video, we've got part two of the lockdown clean. This is mainly stuff that we may forget about cleaning, so it's a bit more detailed and stuff I don't do on a daily basis or even sort of monthly basis. So just maybe give you some motivation to get the odd areas, those jobs, yeah, I'll do it later. Done. Now, while we're in lockdown, and get it all fresh, ready for autumn. Anyway guys, with all of that said, let's get into it. As my dishwasher was half full, I'm now gonna set it off so it is ready to go because I'm going to give it a very good deep clean. So I'm gonna set it off on the high heat, let it clean off, unpack it, and now I'm going to show you how I clean it. I use some bicarbonate of soda into the bottom of the dishwasher. If you haven't got a dishwasher, uh, you don't know what you're missing. Uh, sprinkle about half a box all across the bottom, leave it to sit for a little bit, um, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. I'm just sprinkling on the top so any bits can get into the, the um, spray arm. Finishing off the box at the bottom, as I say, it was about half a, to, a quarter to a half of the box here. Um, then I'm using a microwave safe bowl. I'm going to use some vinegar, exactly the same vinegar that I use in my laundry. Um, put about just over a quarter of a bowl of just plain vinegar into the dishwasher in this bowl on the top shelf and put it on its highest setting. Now, I was uh, hoping to put it in the middle of the racks there, but on the side is absolutely fine, on its highest setting, and let the dishwasher do its magic. Bicarbonate of soda and vinegar are both natural cleaning agents. They work together and they foam up. They make a wonderful scrub for your dishwasher. This is obviously effortless. It works fantastically. As you can see, my dishwasher is absolutely sparkling. The vinegar bowl on the top is now full of hot water because it's all been flushed away. And I'm going to use E-Cloth Whiz to give the sides and the, of the door and the frame a good wipe down. I have checked the salt. I have checked the um, rinse aid on it and I filled them up. I've checked my filters. They're also now clean. Uh, it's good to obviously clean your dishwasher at least once a month, but for a very good deep clean, this is fine for once a year. You can buy those ones that you stick on your top rack and flush that through once a month on a hot cycle, but this is so much cheaper, so much quicker, so much easier. Anyway, they also got a dissolving agent, you know, they make a vinegar's high in acidity, so it will make any bacteria dissolve. So really highly recommend this. And as you can see, it's just wiping away. Another thing, if you guys ha don't have a dishwasher, dishwashers are just, oh uh, yeah, we still have to wash dishes occasionally. There are some things that can't go in a dishwasher, but on top of your cooker, you might have like a cooker hood and those have filters. Now that is an, a kitchen exhaust filter. Those filters can go straight into your dishwasher and they work wonderful. Dish sponges, when you do your washing up, they can just go in the dishwasher. Plastic toys, toothbrush holders, soap dishes, washing machine, um, the the tray thing that goes, you know what I'm on about, the tray thing that goes into your washing machine where you put your detergent and all that in. That can go in the dishwasher. I wash my fridge in the dishwasher. Obviously not the whole fridge, the shelves. I wash my oven in it. Again, the shelves. Seriously, the dishwasher is more than just for dishes. If you've got a baby, mine go, washes up to 70 degrees. It's also got a sanitizing function on it, so, or sterilizing, so I can put baby bottles in there and they're sterilized as soon as they come out of the dishwasher. If you haven't got a dishwasher and you've been thinking about having a dishwasher for ages, seriously, get yourself one. There is nothing better than a dishwasher. Guaranteed, the dishwasher will still be a bit damp when you open it up in the morning, but you know, if, if you've got a cup in there and it's got a ridge on the top, it's going to hold the water, but it takes two seconds to dry it and it's not drying for hours and hours on the drying rack. Yes, I'm guilty. Yes, I've got a drying rack. 
and I generally just store my e-cloths on there, you know, my scrub pad and things. Also talking of dishes, did you know that when you've got a pot that has got something burnt or stuck to it, like baked beans, oh, I hate cleaning up baked beans, stick a tablespoon or just a bit more than a tablespoon of soda crystals in the pot, leave it with a bit of water in it, leave it for an hour or so and it will lift off. Now I'm cleaning my George Foreman, again using the e-cloth whiz, I have got some um, dish soap, uh, washing up liquid on the e-cloth whiz that I'm wiping down here and then I'm going to use a clean um, wet e-cloth kitchen cloth and just clean up all the soap and it's ready to go. So easy to clean with these e-cloths. If you haven't seen my e-cloth review, I'll link it up here for you. I seriously am addicted to my e-cloths. I even wash the car with them, but I've got the e-cloth car kit cleaning kit and I've never seen my car sparkle. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm fighting a cold at the moment. So if I'm a bit crackly, you'll know why. And yes, I am COVID free. Can you believe we're back in lockdown? Oh my gosh. Anyway, now I'm just wiping down my counters, my surfaces, my marble. I use my marble for heat protection on my surfaces. Don't forget to wipe down your splash bags. Seriously, in my house, yes, I'm guilty. The splash pack is forgotten about. It's just, I don't like my splash pack. I want to change it, but I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with it yet. Now I'm going to change over the washing because it's ready to go. Do one load a day, put it away. Don't forget to clean your filters. And then I'm going to just put my darks into the dryer. It is absolutely tipping down with rain today. I live in Wales. When is it not raining? And I'm so lazy, I just kick the door closed. It's not closed completely. If you'll see, leave them ajar so mold, it reduces mold buildup. Now I'm going to move on to my bathroom. The first thing I'm going to do is hose down my bathtub. Now here I'm using the e-cloth mesh scrub pad with Sif Cream Cleaner. All the products that I use will be linked in the description box and on my Sticky Mess website, so be sure to check it out. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you along with me. Now, I wet the e-cloth scrub the mesh pad here and always work from the top and work down your bathtub. So scrubbing the edges and then you'll see I do one sort of like panel if you like. I know my bath's not in panels but I in my head it's in panels and I do one panel at a time. Don't forget the shower head because if you've got one like I've got that goes over the bath you'll be amazed how much gunk and product like hair product and stuff like that get stuck into those little rings and they're a pain to clean. So make sure you do it often regularly and it will reduce the mold buildup. Also these handles, make sure you get in inside of them because you're grabbing them with your hands and you'll be amazed how much dirt collects there. Then I'm also gonna shine up my tap and my bath plug with the e-cloth mesh pad and the cream cleaner and then hose it out. This mesh pad is also fantastic for streak-free tiles. <music> Oh, that was a lot of information that I just got out in one breath. Anyway, I'm back onto the basin now. I'm using the e-cloth mesh pad again with Sif Cream Cleaner. I'm going to give the basin a good scrub. And if you're wondering why my tap's on the other side, yes, it is. I have changed my tap. And this one, same as the other one, didn't fit on the on the left hand side. So now it's on the right. So yes, you will see the pull out hose tail hanging underneath the basin. When I get a basin unit, I will sort that out. But for now, the tap is working. It's nice and it is so flexible. I, yes, I am using the window cloth here because I'm too lazy to go downstairs and go get the shiny one, the buffing cloth, but it worked absolutely fine. Now onto the toilet. The first thing I'm going to do, I hate germs. I hate ugh, toilets. Oh, essential job, but I hate it. So I'm putting gloves on. Uh, I've got a like rim block cage there. Uh, first thing I need to do is change that because that is now dead. I thought I had a replacement. Mm, no, I don't. Next, I'm going to use the Harpic Black uh, toilet bowl cleaner thingy. <laughs> we all know what I'm talking about here. You can see it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to use that and guess what? I've just finished it. Now I've got a um, 
antibacterial wipes from Lidl. These are fine. I'm going to use one on each section of my toilet. I'll show you a bit more in detail how I'm going to be cleaning. First, I'm going to wipe down the top of the actual cistern. Now, I do apologize. My toilet's not the prettiest. It works. That's all that matters. It's a, a rented property, so I can't change it as much as I'd like to. I'd love one of those built-in sort of like toilet units, you know. Don't forget the downpipe and because these collect dust. And then I'm using the top. Always work when you're cleaning a toilet from the top to the bottom. But I've also got something else to show you today. So make sure you keep watching because this is ingenious. But I'm getting into all the grooves. It is with your toilet seat. Now I've got a soft closed toilet seat. I think I got this from Little about two years ago. Best thing since sliced bread. Especially with a toddler who likes to slam the toilet seat in the middle of the night. Anyway, that doesn't happen anymore. So I'm working around from top to bottom. Each sort of layer on the actual toilet seat and the bowl itself, I'm working with one wipe. I know it's not very economical of family friendly or whatever, but this is my hack. Take your toilet seat off, clean underneath the seat, especially if you've got boys, little boys, uh, and then just clean underneath where the seat goes. I've also got a scrub brush, a new toilet brush from Lidl. It's silicone, mm, I'm not too sure I like it, but for getting under the rim, it is absolutely fantastic. Now I'm cleaning the under the seat where it goes onto the toilet and you will see that it just clips on and there's a silver button there that I'm pressing and hey presto, it's done. Oh, isn't watching that soft close just so satisfying? <sighs> anyway, now, oops, I didn't clip it in properly. I'm going to clean it with a little toilet brush and give it a very, very good scrub. And then I've got some little, I think it's little, um, toilet bowl cleaner, which I'll put in afterwards. Now, as you've seen, the Harpic Black has set for a while and uh, the little one is really, really good for getting under the rim. Okay, just a few things here. I wear gloves when I clean my toilet. I also wear gloves at work and I'm now going to be moving the sofa because we've got and poison behind it. So I'm also wearing gloves there because I don't want to con cross contaminate anything and I don't want poison on my hands. But gloves cause me contact dermatitis. Now I use camphor cream, fantastic, but it still doesn't control the um, contact dermatitis. If anybody knows a solution on how to stop gloves causing that, please let me know in the description box. Now I'm using my old Dyson. I don't want to use my new one. The old one is used in the utility room and if you've seen my first lockdown video with me, uh, I'll link it up here for you, you will see that I how much dirt actually came out of this vacuum after I had done this job. So yes, it has been cleaned out and yes, it is dry and it is working fine now. It's been put back together. But let's continue with the vacuuming of this powder. I found it so satisfying getting rid of this ant powder. Now that the ant season has finished, I am decided to get it up because it's just unsightly and it's a pain to clean around, but it definitely does work. I don't know how they get in. We've had our house re-rendered, but yeah, it's... It's done now. I'm also going to use a bucket, um, again, to stop cross-contamination. I'm using an old food disposal bucket, if you want to call it that, food waste. And I'm going to use that with just some Astonish. I'm using a couple of Astonish, a little bit of dish soap, and a very old rag that we don't use for anything else, not even the animals. So there's no cross-contamination. There's my food bucket and inside, as I said, warm water, some Astonish disinfectant and a very old face cloth. And I'm going to just wipe down the radiator, the floor, and make sure that there is absolutely no poison left on the floor. And then I'm going to dispose of that in an outside drain and wash everything out, wash my hands as well as possible. You know, the 20 seconds that you must wash your hands and dispose of my gloves without touching the insides. So you saw how I took them off in the bathroom. One hand underneath the glove and rip it off and then fold it in and throw it away. Please, 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 guys, dispose of your masks, gloves responsibly. It is just so sad to see what's happening at the moment with people just discarding gloves. Please, guys, just throw them away responsibly, please. Please. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm in Crocs again. Why do I love my Crocs? Because my bed jumps out at me and dislocates my toes. So yes, I is <laughs> a Marmite subject. Do you like them? Don't you like them? This week's common question is going to be, where is your pet's favorite place to sit? Mine is on top of the radiator. So I'm forever cleaning pet hair, cat hair. Yes, I'm a cat person. Uh, out of my radiator. How do I do that? I use a steam cleaner, I put the nozzle on it and I just blow the dirt down straight onto the floor, wipe it up, hey it's done. I haven't tried the radiator dusters though. If anyone's got them let me know in the comments. When you want to get off the darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down That's it for today guys, this is part one and part two will be linked in the description box. Make sure you check out both videos. I'll also have it linked up here for you. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you're subscribed if you're new and all the product information will be done in the description box. Take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, look after your loved ones and I will see you in the next one. Take care, see you, bye.